Hello, so it's been such a long time since I've been on YouTube. I had another channel and it was all about um, planners and you know stationery stuff I love. And it's, so it's been since 2016, so it's been a little while. And I decided right now, since I have a little bit more time, I've been wanting to do a video. Now that I'm older and wiser and experienced you know, more in my life, not that much, but just kind of. But um, I think for me, I've always um, wanted a post of what's in my bag video. I never have because I was, at the time, you know, I was younger and I was always afraid what people would think or would comment, you know, negative comments. Of course, you're always going to get people that are not going to love your videos or they're going to put nasty stuff on there. But, you know, it is what it is. I think now that I'm older, you know, I toughened up a little bit more, even though I am a little emotional once in a while when I see a baby and a puppy. Just you know, I get emotional. Who doesn't? Who doesn't love babies and puppies? Come on. But um, yeah, the, the I remember back in 2016 when I wanted to start doing videos on the what's in my bag. I love those videos. I would watch them every day and I loved everybody's, you know, I like to see what was in their bags, you know. So I've always wanted to do my own. But like I mentioned, I was like, I never had the guts to do it. So today is the day I'm like, you know what? I'm bored. Actually, I should be going to sleep because I work in the morning. But you know what? I want to do my video. What's in my bag video? So I want to introduce you to my bag that I just received. It's pre-loved. And of course, there's a backstory to it, of course, right? Um, I do want to introduce you to her. I love her. I've literally been wanting this bag for the longest time. And it's the Mulberry. Sorry, I don't have a fancy camera yet, okay? This is a Mulberry base water in the Oxblood this i believe it's nvt leather i know there's so many leathers out there i'm not an expert a mulberry expert and i know this bag is not as popular as it used to be back in the days but i've been trying to save for this bag you know other stuff comes up but i've graduated this year finally finished my finals this year so i'm excited class of 2020 congratulations um so i deserved it you know so i had the, the funds and i finally decided to order one but before getting this baby, this one, I actually went to the Mulberry site. I paid, I'm not kidding you, $1,400 for Mulberry base water. And I'm part of a Mulberry um, group. And when I posted which one I got, and then I started realizing and reading the comments that I guess their leather has changed through the years. And I didn't know, you know, I was on what's in my bag videos, Mulberry, Mulberry bag videos on base waters. And I've always seen the really heavy, thick leather, luscious leather, and that's what I wanted. But when I ordered it and I received it, I had done an unboxing in the group. And it was like a love, I don't want to say love hate, but I was like kind of mixed feelings because when I opened it, just it was light, don't get me wrong, but the leather just didn't see, it wasn't luscious and, and that feeling that I wanted, you know, I don't know, the mushy leather, you know, I don't know if I, it makes sense. It just, I didn't like it. And not only that, I noticed that there was Nick's excuse me, there was like damage on the bottom. So the bag looked used, like it was a not really used, but like a display bag or somebody returned it. So I literally returned it the following day and I ended up getting um, a refund maybe like three days after because I emailed them, I called them on the return slip. I wrote explanation basically saying, you know what, this bag looks like it's been used. And I just decided to get my money because I decided to buy, go, uh, by pre-loved i went on poshmark which is a consignment shop where you could sell items or people sell items they didn't no longer need designer items and some non-designer but i always sell stuff on there and i saw this lovely one and she was selling it for 600 us dollars and um i had all these questions because like i said i'm not an expert i don't i know there's a lot of fix out there so after asking and I was able to get the price down to 480, but she was so kind and said, you know, if you pay $500, buy it for $500, uh, Poshmark will authenticate it. And I did not know that. So basically what happens is once you pay, I paid the $500, the seller will ship it out to Poshmark. Poshmark will say, hey, thumbs up, it's authentic. I did get an email saying that it was, which I was super excited. And then they shipped it to me. And I have 30, three, 30 days, three days to decide if I want it or not, or, you know, if it's really what I wanted. And of course, this is what I wanted. I've been wanting this color. So, yes. So, as you can see, it's a beautiful, beautiful oxblood 
color. It's almost like a, reminds me of a burgundy color. It's a really beautiful color. And like I said, I wanted this thick, luscious, pebbly leather. Like it's beautiful. And there was a little bit of damage, which I already was aware. There was fading on the, on the edges here. And the, of course the plate was a little scratched, uh, but which I'm okay with that. I don't mind. So just really quickly, I'm gonna show you what I have. Hopefully it won't take me long. But as you can see, I love the unfinished uh, look in the leather. It's really so, so soft. And it holds a bunch, but this bag is really heavy on its own. So just beware if you're looking to buy this particular bag that it is a little bit heavy, but I love the leather and I don't mind carrying it as long as I still can, right? So let me go ahead and show you what's in my bag. So the first thing that, let me, let me get the first thing that I have in my bag, it's my Louis Vuitton zip around wallet. I got this about two years ago and I've had multiple Louis Vuitton wallets and the zip around is the one that I've always wanted, but of course it's a little bit more expensive, but I saved and I sold a lot of my stuff and I ended up buying it. But what I love most is interior because it's not the traditional brown interior. It's like a ballerina pink interior. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this wallet. And it's lasting me, it's really, lasted me for a while two years so far so that's good uh next i have a book i'm trying to read a book non non uh, school book okay i was like oh well but yeah so i'm reading this on you are a you know what <laughs> i don't want to cuss on my channel come on so uh yeah i got this book from jen sincero i think i don't hopefully i pronounced it correctly Next, I do have my Traveler's Note, Midori Traveler's Notebook with a Lamy pen. Um, and I haven't really written in there anything in there. I'm actually studying for my CBES, so I'm going to be using this as for notes. I do have this coach, cute little coach um, canvas um, little coin purse. Um, I have no coins in there right now nothing in there but i like to carry this when i go to the grocery store and i don't want to carry my bag i will put like my cards in there and oops and a very important item that i cannot do without i have always been a planner person i love planners and i have discovered a six size i've always been a personal or a five never really a pocket it's too small for me but a six size is literally my favorite size my favorite size. This is the A6 um, Gileo Forenzi uh, Campania in the A6 um, in the purple and epical leather. It's very, as you can see, very pebbly, very soft and luscious. And I, I love Gileo a lot because it has all the pockets. Oh my gosh, this thing. I'm just gonna show you real quick. It has a lot of pockets and I love the big old secretarial pocket. And it's just very, just practical for me. I love, and I, what I love the most of it, you know, it has a pen loop, two pen loops, one on the fly leaf and one on the regular planner. So that's my planner. And I think, oh, I just bought this Color Street. I haven't tried these. Uh, they were always sold out. One of my coworkers sells them and she, they always sell out. So she bought extra and she sold me them. So I'm super excited to put these on. I've never tried these, so we'll see and i carry eucerate advanced repair hand cream because i've been washing my hands uh right now i've put, been using a lot of hand sanitizer so some pencils and pins that i use and hand sanitizer that i actually had so but and a bill that i just paid today home depot <laughs> but um yeah so it's empty now and I literally am so happy with my purchase. Well, that is it. If you guys have any suggestions for other videos that you want to, you know, you want me to do, um, just don't tell me to buy expensive stuff like makeup and stuff. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm not rich. Okay, people, I'm not rich. But um, yeah, I'm super excited to get back on here and do videos because that's something I really, really missed. Um, I hope everybody has a, a good night and I will see you later. Bye.